can't say I've ever seen a chart like this before. <laughs> well, let me put this down for just a moment. Set it down right over there. Right there. Uh, well, how y'all doing? Well, my name is Dr. Corvus D. Coltrane. <laughs> uh, it is a absolute pleasure to make your acquaintance, won't you? Put it right there. There we go. Wow. You have a, a very strong and healthy grip. <laughs> uh, well, welcome to the Alabama Southern Meditative Retreat right here in the heart of Insmith, Alabama. <laughs> That's right. So, I, I take it, uh, if I understand correctly, you are here because I've been uh, feeling a little more tired and perhaps uh, a little more anxiety and stress uh, lately more than usual. Ain't that right? Yeah, that's what I thought. That you are a new patient of ours here at the retreat. Right, 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 all right. Okay, well, I, I hope you're nice and comfortable. You see what we do here at the Alabama Sun, at the uh, ASMR, <laughs> nice little abbreviation there, is uh, all of the folks across the world. Uh, they are welcome to stay at our retreat. And some of us the doctors, we do a little intake. That's that's why you're here. All new residents or patients go through this process. And so that we can you know, make sure they are fit to be uh, to take up residency here at ASMR. Uh, now, uh, before we get started with the whole rigmarole, uh, can I offer you some candy? Uh, it's a uh, I'm sure you know. It's that time of, of the week again where we get our weekly stipend or allowance of free candy from the NWO. <laughs> what a generous bunch they are. It's like we have some Twizzlers and some mints right in there. Just 
everything you can imagine. Video games, any kind of entertainment, clothing, etc., etc. Just everything. Absolutely free. <laughs> and then, of course, they went above and beyond that. And they now go around, as you know, and they give you your weekly free uh, stipend or allowance. So this past week it was free candy. Next week it's, I think, free uh, shoes. Ain't that right? Yeah. yeah I think that's what it's going to be. I have to look at the, the calendar, but not only do you not have to pay for anything anymore, <laughs> but they hand deliver you free merchandise on a weekly occasion. <laughs> Ain't that so? <laughs> well, all right, well, enough of the blibber blabber from me. Let's get the, uh, down to taking care of you now. Now, just a moment. So, uh, when I first walked in here, I was, uh, you know, just reviewing your chart. And I've got to say, <laughs> sure if you are familiar with my cousin, I think it's my, my fourth cousin, uh, Roscoe P. Coltrane, yeah, he's a sheriff over in, uh, Georgia, uh, the last I checked, yeah, yeah, so, quite, uh, quite a popular individual, <laughs> all right, anyway, um, yeah, so maybe you can help me out here with, uh, Trying to make heads or tails of your chart here. You can just give me a. You can just let me in on exactly what I'm, what I'm seeing here. So, uh, what is it here exactly that I am uh, looking at? Could you tell me about that? Okay. Yeah. So that little. That little uh, gentleman or individual over there, that's your imaginary friend. Okay, okay, that makes sense. All right. Okay, now, I see right here, this little graph. Seems to go right off the chart. Would you care to explain that? Oh, okay. All right. I understand. I understand. And uh, let's see what else we have here. Looks like we have some sad over here. Isn't that right? So, you have some moments of feeling sad. Ain't that right? Okay. That, that makes sense. And, uh, over here, we have uh, some happy. So sometimes y'all feel happy, ain't that right? Okay, all right. And then down here, looks like we have some squishy. Care to elaborate? Exactly what that is all about. Squishy. Ah, uh, I said, okay, that makes sense too. Alright. Then we have uh, some line going all twisting around like that. Would you care to elaborate about that as well? 
Uh, I see. Okay, alright, alright. And then, uh, looks like a tentacle. It's coming up from the bottom of the chart. Is that right? Okay, and what does that signify? I see, I see, okay, alright. scary face right there. You care to tell me what that's all about? Ah, uh, once in a while you are possessed by a demon. <laughs> okay. Well, nah, that's understandable. And, uh, all these dots, the small dots and the larger dots, you care to elaborate and let me in on what all those mean? I see, okay, alright. And then, uh, lastly, what about this over here, all these squiggles right there? They look like squiggles to me. <laughs> but, uh, you, know, you could elaborate on what that is. I see. Ah, really? Okay, well. <laughs> okay, well, now that I... You're so kind. <laughs> now, now that you have explained everything, uh, it really sets my mind at ease. <laughs> it all makes perfect sense now. It truly does. Okay, well, I was gonna. Give me a moment, let me set your chart aside there. Set it right down here. Right there. <laughs> Actually, before I set your chart aside, I do need to ask you a few questions. So, stay right there, just like you've been staying all along so far already. Okay, just a, a few questions, just so that uh, I get a little better understanding of uh, your overall well-being, alright? So, uh, first question, uh, do you have any problems solving any problems? Okay, alright, let's write that down here. Here. Uh, when is the last time someone asked you? When is the last time someone asked you? You can all answer that as best as you can. I'd appreciate that. Alright, okay. You write that down. Okay, my friend, on a scale of 1 to 10, with 1 being the very worst, and 10 being the, the best, how would you rate your mortal existence so far? Okay, all right, I'll write that number down here. Okay, my friend, next question. Did that startle you just now? It did? Oh, good. That's, uh, that's just something I like to personally do to all the new patients, 
just kind of, you know, get the old heart pumping, get the blood flowing now, yeah, <laughs> okay, alright. Okay, my friend, uh, any family history of lycanthropy, of vampirism, communicating with the dead, reanimation, levitation, anything along those lines. Okay, I see. All right, I'll make a note of that right here. does that go in your family history, your lineage? I see. All right. Okay. And uh, just two more questions to go, my friend. Uh, this next question is quite simple and straightforward. Uh, do you have the plague. You don't have the plague. All right, that's good. That's good. No plague. <laughs> well, I was, if you were gonna answer yes uh, to if you have the plague, I was gonna suggest you go see my sister-in-law, Margaret. She's married to my brother. Dave, <laughs> yeah, Margaret, Margaret is a registered certified plague doctor, she's got her own practice right here at the Alabama Southern Meditative Retreat, but uh, yeah, so and my brother Dave, Dave C. Coltrane, <laughs> the C standing for Charles, of course, and well, Dave, he's a gardener right here at the Alabama Southern Meditative Retreat. Yeah, that's right. So once you're, once I'm all done here with the uh, intake process, and one of the assistants here, the nurses or, or the, you know, whatever, uh, they'll take you on a tour of the facility show you where your room is going to be and uh, you might actually go see the garden we have right outside where my brother Dave is that takes care of it like I said he's the gardener here at ASMR so <laughs> all right well enough about me and my family <laughs> okay last question for you my friend uh, what is it exactly that brings you here today to our fine establishment? Okay. I'm going to write that down. I see. Basically, you don't know why you're here, other than that you've been suffering with some anxiety and stress, some sleepless nights, but uh, you just feel compelled to come here, ain't that right? Okay, alright my, my friend, uh, that's gonna do it for the chart. And the questions, let's get down to a little bit of the medical examination. Just a moment now. Let's set that down right over here. All right, my friend. Now, if you could just open up and say, ah, 
Are you allowed to say, ah, just open up as wide as you can. So I'll take a look inside your mouth. Make sure everything looking, everything looking good in there. All right. Okay. Add it just one more time. Uh, all right. Yeah, everything looks good. All right. Appreciate you doing that. We do have a dentist yeah, on site here. So if you ever happen to have any kind of, you know, problems with your teeth and whatnot, <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll take good care of you right here, right up in here, all right? Okay, now. now I just want to take a, a look at your eyes. So if you can just stare right here at my uh, two webbed fingers. <laughs> yeah. I know you're probably curious. Dr. Corliss, Dr. Coltrane, how is it going to be you got them webbed fingers like that up there? <laughs> well, yeah, I can tell you, tell you about that. You see, uh, not too long ago, it's a cold there. It's a cold there, cold for don't there. I want to get this on it. If you go to some dance, then I got some dance, it's gonna go on this own, gonna cut it out of the dance. Go see if they don't go on this, I don't see if you go on this house, it's not too far. If you go on this, I'm going to go on this house, 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 I'm going to go on this and that pretty much explains it. So there you go. Alright, so just keep a look straight ahead. Everything. Everything looking good so far. Right up in there. Right up in your eyes. Right up in there. Yes, they are. Take a good look right in there. Let me just... I'm just gonna take a real long close up look right up in there. So that's uh, functioning properly. Now, you just take a good long, you just follow the light. That's all you gotta do is follow the light now. All right, real simple. Follow the light. Keep following the light as it goes right across your field of view. There you go. Just keep looking at that light. And I'm just gonna keep looking. At your eyes. And make sure your eyes are working just like they should be now. <laughs> so far they're working. They're looking pretty good. All right. That's it. Just keep following the light. There we go. Just like that. Is gonna go one more time around the one more time around the farm, as they like to say down here. <laughs> cute, cute, cute. As my cousin Roscoe likes to say. Anyway, oh, yeah, that reminds me. If you ever happen to get in trouble with the law, you just let me know now. I'll get you in touch with my cousin, Roscoe P. Coltrane. He'll help you out. Yeah, well, yeah, he will. Just as long as you... 
just as long as you ain't friends with them. Them, uh, them brothers over there with their, with their car, driving all fast like, causing no disturbance to the peace. Yeah, anyway, enough about all of them. Okay, well. So far, so good, my friend. Uh, I don't see anything wrong or out of the ordinary or anything that's going to cause Dr. Coltrane uh, uh, or give Dr. Coltrane a uh, cause for concern. All right, now. Now, what we're going to do next is I'm just going to show a little chart. And I just want you to look at this chart and read it down to the smallest line that you can read. Okay, so would you go ahead now? Good, good. All right. Do the same thing on the other side. You go ahead and try to read down to the smallest line that you can. Excellent, excellent. Well, my friend, I have to say, your eyes. They seem to be working just fine. Well, you can always go see our resident optometrist. If you need any new glasses or contacts or anything like that now. All right. All right, my friend. Now, so far, I'm not finding anything or seeing anything at all that would give me cause for concern. And, and that's just the way we like it. Now, some folks do come in here to the ASMR Alabama Southern Meditative Retreat, and they all distraught, and they are just all broken up inside as if their entire soul was completely obliterated, and there ain't nothing, absolutely nothing left inside. They aren't just dead inside they are disintegrated all right and so we want to make sure that we can you know make them feel good again complete and whole just like they were before they became broken all right so that that's all you want to do here yeah so all right my friend what i'm going to do now is just a little physical exam listen to your heart listen to your lungs Listen to your brain. Okay, that's the most important part. A lot of doctors around these parts, they don't ever listen to the brain. And you listen to the brain, it'll tell you a lot of things that are wrong. So, just give me a moment here. Alright, there we go. Get that in there. Alright. So, I'm just gonna... You just... All you have to do is just remain where you've been. And I'm going to take listen to your heart. Okay. All right. There we go. And all you got to do is just breathe normally. All right. I'll listen to that. Music to my ears. Yeah. 
Sounds like you have a nice, strong heart in right up in there. Yes, you do. Alright. Now, I'm going to listen to your lungs. Now, all I need you to do is just breathe in deeply, okay? So, breathe in. And exhale. Very good. Again, breathe in. And exhale. Very good, very good. Now, one more time over this side. Would you go ahead and breathe in for me? And exhale. Very good. One more time. Breathe in. And exhale. Excellent. All right, now I'm going to listen to your brain. See if it has anything to tell me. Let's get it right up there. Listen to the left side of your brain first. side of your brain, oh boy, it sure has a lot to say. Okay. Uh, you might need to meet with our psychologist and he can take down everything that your brain has to say. I, I just want to make sure that your brain is active. That's all. That's all I'm doing here. I'm trying to trying to figure out exactly what your brain is trying to say. Well, that's a little above my pay grade now. <laughs> that's what psychologists did for. All right, let's listen to the to the right side of your brain. Huh. Okay. All right. Uh, not quite as talkative. It is active a little bit. Sounds like it's having itself a nice little meal. <laughs> How about that now? What time is it again? Yeah, well, it is that time of the day or the evening. Sometimes I forget exactly, but which time of the day it is? Being stuck in here all the time? <laughs> all right, my friend, well. Your heart, it, it, it just pleases me to say that your heart and your lungs and your brain, they all be working just, just fine. You ain't got nothing to worry about from a physical aspect, okay? Now, when it comes down to the mental state, how you're feeling, well... Like I said, you can always go see our psychologist. But uh, before then, uh, that's going to do it for the little physical exam and checkup. Now, what I'm going to do now is the whole purpose of your being here. And the whole reason this facility is called the Out of Bound Southern Meditative Retreat. See, what we do here, I'm not sure if how you found us, if you, uh, you, you, you got one of our brochures. Okay, then. Yeah, well. So, what, what we do is perform a lot of uh, a new age experimental type of things that help calm the mind. Calm the mind and get the body into a nice get both the mind and body to uh, join and become one, become very, very relaxed, okay? Some peace of mind and some peace of body as well, okay? All right. Now, one of the first things I'm going to start with is the, these pair of leather gloves. I'm just going to uh, basically 
make some sound with these leather gloves and I think you'll find them very pleasing to your ears. Alright, so just take a, take a listen to these leather gloves. find yourself in a more relaxing state of mind. Listen to the sounds of that leather glove. Nice and relaxing life. Southern Meditative Retreat is once a month we perform these kind of treatment sessions is what we like to call them. and their body. so far my friend I do it does seem like your your eyelids are getting a little droopy there yeah oh, was that a yawn oh, don't start that's contagious you know that oh boy I feel like I'm starting to get tired myself I could use a good old nap all right, so that's going to do it for the leather gloves. If you like that, there's always more in store for you right here at the ASMR, okay? Now, this next little bit is a, a bit of a, a visual. A visual. That's right. A visual aid. Not gonna make any sounds, but it's gonna help you relax just by looking at it. All right. Now just take a look at that. All right. You should already begin to feel the waves of relaxing, relaxation, just emanating from it, flowing right to you. Yeah. Now, I'm not sure if you are familiar with this individual, but this is an exact uh, replica of the first doctor who founded the ASMR, the Alabama Southern Meditative Retreat. That's right. Good old Dr. Sheldon Winslow. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Such a, a kind, courteous, and pleasant gentleman. <laughs> yeah. But loved by so many. Uh, unfortunately, he is no longer with us. Uh, he left to go back to his home world. Yeah. Some place far, far in it the distant corner of the universe. But, uh, yeah, Dr. Wynn.
in the low. Now, <laughs> anyway, you just stare at this for a little bit longer, and you should begin to feel much more calm and relaxed, okay? something about looking at the, uh, the visage of uh, the, the, the physical uh, uh, representation, whether in a statue or the actual elder god himself. <laughs> yeah, just something about looking at Dr. Winslow, and you just, all, you just feel like everything's going to be okay. Alright, let, let's move on now. Uh, just gonna finish up here. Now, uh, because you are a new patient of ours, I got something special for you. Something that we give to all the new patients here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, before we do that, just one other thing. Got this rubber ducky here. Larger than life, rubber ducky. I, I think you might like the sounds of this. Again, it's another one of these visual and uh, audio type of, of things that part of a treatment here. That I, I personally think you're going to enjoy. Help you feel even more calm and even more relaxed than you were already all right so let's just do that right here right now for you okay just listen to the sounds of rubber ducky here Robert Ducky just wants to help you to relax. That's all. Ain't no big thing. Robert Ducky, Robert Ducky. That's right. Look how happy Robert Ducky is. Robert Ducky is so happy to be here with you, to be in your presence. It's true. Robert Duck. This is one of the favorites of all our patients. So many of them always asking Dr. Coltrane. We can uh, we can have another session with Robert Duck. just making them do that. The rubber duck is an inanimate object, although some people might disagree with that. <laughs> and we can just, just rub rubber duck's head. It's nice like that. You like that rubber ducky? See that? Rubber ducky loves that. Little, little pats on the head, just like that. Just like that, right on Robert Duck. 
get here. This small song is called the Dog Dog Dance. And it's all there, the song can be at the old Tony Park, y'all. I got to go to the Dog 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 Dance, Dog 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 Dog. He's a young fool, a young fool, a young fool. He's a famous architect. He actually helped design uh, a new wing on our facility here. That's right. Okay. Thank you very much, Robert Ducky. And uh, just a, one more thing before I, I give you your little present, so to speak. Now, let's just get you, this is something I like to do, just to get you, get your mind into a much more calm state. Just watch my hands. Let my hands help you. The slow movements of my hands to help you to relax. That's right. Just like that. Yeah. Nice and slow, calm hand movements. Just to get your mind into a nice, calm state. That's all we want to do, my friend. Just to help you. That's why we're here at the ASMR. feel safe and feel better okay and I can even reach out here and just remove any kind of worries just like that any kind of negative thoughts you might be having just get rid of them all that get out of here Get out of here. We don't want no, no negative energy here. Just get out. Just get yourself out of here. Just like that. There we go. Alright. Now we can give you some positive energy. Just feel positive energy. Just wash right over you. Just like that. There we go. Make you feel much more better. Alright. There we go. Okay. Alright, now if you want, you can listen to my sleeves. Maybe that's a nice, pleasant sound. This way like that, and do that one from the left to the right. Okay. All right. Well, my friend, that's gonna do it for this little intake session. Welcome aboard to the ASMR. I hope you enjoy your stay here. And 
enjoy making some new friends and acquaintances and get to meet all the members of the staff, the different doctors and, and whatnot. Now the very last thing I got for you is that little gift, that new patient gift that we give to all the new patients here at the you know, it's part of our Southern Hospitality. <laughs> That's right. Just give me, give me a second here. I got you your very own ASMR pillow. Alabama Southern Meditative Retreat pillow, obviously. Okay. Very high quality. We spared no expense. So I just want you to listen to the sound of this, then I'll give it to you. All right. Very nice. Comfy pillow. So, I'm going to leave it right in here inside the plastic bag. You can feel free to remove the pillow from the bag whenever you are ready to do so. Alright, let me give this to you. There you go, my friend. Alright, now, you enjoy that. You hear? And uh, once again, welcome. Enjoy your stay here, or however long it's going to be. And, uh, you know, I, I have to say, after spending all this time with you, I, I feel like, uh, now this might sound a little strange, but uh, I feel like we've seen each other before. You know, like, uh, what, what, what do they call that? The uh, uh, deja vu. Yeah, that's right. Some black magic voodoo witchery or something like that. That uh, some of the cultists perform right over in those swamps of Louisiana. But uh, I don't know, something I, I just feel like we've met before. Now, I'm not much of a spiritual man, and I don't really believe in reincarnation. But, uh, I don't know, I just got a strange feeling that, uh, yeah, after being in your presence, I just feel like, like we've met before somehow, I don't know. Oh, well, anyway, all that's gonna do, my friend, you are free to remain where you are. I'm just gonna make a few final notes about our little intake session here and then you are free feel free to sleep take a nap or what have you and one of us will you know take you to your new room and give you a tour of the facility all right well again it was a pleasure making your acquaintance why don't you put it right there again there we go all right and now you take care of yourself, okay? And if you have any problems, or you want to make another uh, one of our relaxation session treatments with me, uh, Dr. Coltrane, you can call me Corvus. 
Oh, everybody calls me Corvus. Uh, and we'll go ahead and make another treatment session to help you relax, alright? And again, don't forget to go out and take a look at the garden. Meet my brother Dave. And if you ever happen to catch the plague, okay? My sister in law, Margaret, the plague doctor, she'll take care of you. Alright? Now. I'm so glad the candy man came this week. It's so cool that the NWO has all these little uh, sections. Little candy man, the shoe man, the video game man. And you just meet with them and get what you want for free. It's, it's so fantastic. I can't wait to meet the shoe man next. And then after that, maybe it might be the book man there's a there's a there's a book i like to get oh, yeah but uh all right now you take care and it was a pleasure to see you all right New patient seems to be in a very healthy condition. Perform some relaxation treatment and give the patient a very good.